Hi. How are you? Good. It's been a pretty quiet election, so. I mean, last time I did this, I had. I had eight, nine, ten council candidates. And this year it's how many? Six, I think. Okay. Four mayoral last time, two this time. <laughs> how are you? Oh, it's been a long day. Those mics obviously lower down, so yes. they'll be right in front of them. Do you have them on stands, possibly? Yeah. That we can set on the table? Separate from... Oh, I don't know if I have little stands like that. I took over membership in 2008 for the chamber, and that's when I started doing these election forms. So, primarily city elections, but we did do one county election with um, county commissioners and Joe DeSalvo's first term as sheriff. Um, he ran unopposed last time, and so did the county commissioner, so we didn't have to do an election uh, form for that. But it's interesting, you know, I look into the room with Phyllis back there and others that will show up tonight. You can count on them. Form, political, uh, anything related to local politics, they show up. And um, it's great community participation and involvement and it's fun. And it's never the same. It's pretty amazing. I mean, obviously we have some names that we recognize with Tori and um, Scadron's the incumbent and Art and Ann, but you know, it's great to see Sue in there. It's great to see Skippy, you know, somebody from um, the younger, younger, I guess, demographic group in town stepping up and really getting involved. So I think it's, it's cool. It's going to be a neat election. So the first is going to be the mayor, 30 minutes. Good. And then the uh, council comes on at 515, no more than 90 minutes. We already have questions that we collected from the chamber oh, membership. And then towards the end, time permitting. Okay. Um, we will collect questions as people come in. They have to write them down on a three by five card and then we'll hand them off to Carolyn. Sounds good. Did everything work with the sound? <laughs> That's Claire, that she's the point person. Yeah, we've definitely been focusing probably for the past, what would you say Eric, three weeks? Yeah. Pretty primarily on the election. I guess really since the candidates announced um, that they are running. Um, putting together this forum, we did two election shows that were about an hour, 45 minutes each. So kind of getting questions together for those and coordinating everything, but it's been interesting. A lot of work. Yeah, so it's been a lot of work, but it's been it's been fun. How you doing? How you? I knew that was you. How okay. you been? I arrived here casually early, 4.58, and I guess we'll let the games begin later. Oh, this is, this is your peace art? and love. Here, this is the Maroon Creek proposed dam. And this is the, the cable, the Castle Creek uh -huh. dam. Now, people are asking, why are the mayor and the council protecting this? follow the money. It's so that we can have more development in Aspen. How are you? I'm good, you? What do you do for your pre-warm-up? <clears throat> a shot of whiskey, okay. you know, take the edge off a little bit. No, I don't, I used to do that, but now I've done it so many times that You're pro. it's just, yeah, it's pretty second nature. I'm asking the questions, I'm not the one that is in the hot seat. I'm really interested to hear the candidates answer business-oriented questions because it really, I think most, their decisions that they make at the council table can really affect the tourism economy, the business community. So, it'll be interesting to see. Here we are again. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. good haircut? Yeah, just Got them all cut. Right? So Carolyn, we're gonna have you labbed up. Yep, let's do it. I'm just introing you, and then I am. Okay, um, and so then you want me to do the, the what the? Yeah, um, the actual ground rules. Right. Ground rules and the, um, Time yeah. questions. Yes. yes. What do I? What do we call that? I, I should think know. of the name before I. Well, no, the format. No man. Format. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> right. I'm going going to start with the fact that I had in 1993. I had a rafting accident uh, and nearly died in the Roaring Fork River. Uh, but I was rescued by Rich Zelter. And so I'm still here to run for office. Awesome. Well, that's a cool story. <laughs> it is a cool story. Yeah. You're meant to I mean, be I'd here. Be I'm meant many, to be yours. here. Yeah. Can you guys have some more of these? Okay. That would be nice. No, we're done. Can you encourage <laughs> others? Can we get it? We need like two or three more debates. No, no more. I think we do. The Aspen Chamber's been putting on an election forum for the past 20 years. 
So each spring we get together with the candidates and our public affairs committee and we come up with some questions and topics and it's really just part of the body of work the chamber does. We just provide a platform for them to differentiate themselves. So as wonderful as Aspen is, we can do better. I promise to shrink the government and they'll do it for a dollar. It would be in line with the history of Aspen and it would make Hunter S. Thompson proud. People know I'm a straight shooter and the voice for the common man. Read my lips. I will stop the dams. It's been a wonderful honor to serve as your mayor. When I began this term, I set out to align the land use code with the community's vision, and we did, the, we did just that. I'm seeking re-election to keep the positive momentum going. Uh, all I've done over my time in office is to try to leave the city of Aspen a better uh, positioned and healthier for success over the long run. And I hope my legacy is that uh, all the decisions we've made uh, leave the community a better position for success. Good statements, you know, doing your thing. I, I applaud you. This one of the saviors for the maroon bells. Now I will work to save our precious wilderness from giant cranes, bulldozers, dump trucks, and flooding. I think we need a fresh, unique perspective when looking at the critical issues for our town. Balance in decision making is important. I think that we can't just solve tomorrow's problems with yesterday's tools. We also need to solve it with tomorrow's tools. I ask for your vote. I'm looking forward to tonight, Carolyn. And I think we can bring about positive change while staying firmly rooted in Aspen values. My objective for a second term, to focus on the future and to have our town live within and be guided by the visionary principles of the AACP. Um, I listen to all viewpoints. I define a problem. I try to look for uh, a desired outcome and then explore the complications and solutions. And I've seen quantifiable change in the city in the last four years. We are also embarking on a comprehensive study of water needs and availability, which will enable us to put together a long-range water plan that will protect our valleys, our rivers, and our streams, and our water rights. My name is Tori, and I'm running for city council because I care. I care about the decisions uh, that affect Aspenites and Aspen. We, we've been talking a lot about what can the government do. I'll tell you the truth, I think that we need to take a long look at the retail future in this town. It's not just a year by year thing that we can look at these empty retail spaces and, and think about what may be coming and what might not be coming. I think we actually need to develop a part of our government and city and city hall in order to really work on this for the future and the benefit of Aspen. Thanks for uh, participating. I'm glad you were here. Well, we just wrapped up the uh, 2017 election forum. I think it, re it went really well. I learned a lot about the candidates, especially the city council candidates. Um, looking forward to the election on May 2nd. I think it's an exciting time and. Uh, Glad to see some new faces in the uh, race. So best of luck to all the candidates and thank you everybody that attended.